Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. My name is Dira. We are here with some NBA 2K Mobile. So season five introduced three new rarities to the game, and there's been some fire themes that dropped so far in season five. I mean, you can see the cards on the screen. We got so many good players that have dropped. What if I told you that we got another rarity dropping? That's right. DRL sneak peek here. We got the Obsidian tier coming very soon. And I'm going to show you all the Obsidian Foundation cards that are coming to the game. So the Obsidian players is being kicked off with a Tyrone Lou card. Notice the power is slightly higher than the Pearls. Then we have a Jelen Suggs, a Kurt Rambis, and a Nate McMillan. That's a throwback player for sure. The next batch is going to have Marvin Bagley III, Brandon Clark, and Jonathan Kaminga. Now, I know recently somebody requested for a new Jonathan Kaminga. There you have it. The next wave is going to be Mo Bamba, a Dylan Brooks, and a Sadiq Bey. I'm looking forward to that Sadiq Bey. We got Gordon Hayward, Norman Powell. It's a nice card to see as well. Jeremy Grant, too. We got a Kyle Kuzma, who was balling out last week. Derek Rose, Knicks Nation, you already know. And then we got a Jonas Valanciunas, who actually had a really good card in the last theme for the Fear the Beard. So that's nice to see as well. Then we got a Fred Van Vliet, a Jaron Jackson Jr., and a RJ Barrett, Knicks Nation once again. All right, so we got a Michael Porter Jr., which we just seen a Halloween card drop for him. So if you like that card, then this is a nice upgrade for you to get a new Michael Porter Jr. There is a Mark Jackson for the Indiana Pacers. There have been people that have been asking for this card. So this is a nice addition for sure. And we got a Clint Capella. Now I'm excited about these three cards. Because Evan Mobley is one of the underrated centers in the game. Some of the best stats inside NBA 2K Mobile for the center position. The Mellow Ball is a ton of fun for gameplay. And Josh Smith, I featured in my top power forwards video. This is a gem for sure. Who's a Ruby Rarity? So now to see an Obsidian is crazy because now we get to use this card in all the game modes available in NBA 2K Mobile. So that's pretty sick. We got a new Jared Allen and a World Be Free. It's a nice addition to the game. Definitely underrated player. Curious to see how his gameplay is. And then we got a Demaltis Sabonis, who was another player who was balling in real life in NBA. Very good playmaker in this game too. So if you had a Demaltis Sabonis for a couple weeks ago, you get a nice new upgrade as well. And we're getting a new CJ McCollum, one of the smoothest jump shots inside the game. This will be another player that will be fun to use. Shea Gilgis Alexander, balling out as well. Always cool to see OKC Thunder cards in there. I know KDP gets hype every time. And then we got a Danny Granger, who is an underrated gem. He dropped a few seasons ago on NBA 2K Mobile. Danny Granger was a beast in Indiana before he got hurt and Paul George was able to rise to stardom. But this guy's a good card, and I'm really excited to see him again inside NBA 2K Mobile Season 5. And then we got Steve Francis. Another gem in this game. We've seen him for the ankle breaker glitch theme inside of um, season four. We got Allen Houston, Knicks Nation, one of my favorite Knicks of all time. And then we got Richard Hamilton, which we already know is one of the top shooting guards inside this game. Next batch is Zach Randolph. Featured him in my census video. Low key gem. Can shoot as a center. Really good rebounder. I'm happy about the Z-Bow being added. We finally got the Donovan Mitchell card for the Cavs. That should be pretty sick. Then we got Paul Pierce being added. And we got an Obsidian James Harden and an Obsidian Tracy McGrady. So you get two of the top shooting guards in NBA 2K Mobile added to the game. We got a Raptors version of T-Max. So that's pretty cool for the Toronto Raptors fans. And then we got a Philadelphia 76ers Harden as well. We also got the throwback Mello in the Nuggets jersey. Mello was definitely a beast back in the day. This is a cool card. Next here, got Jermaine O'Neal, who is a secret gem for the center position. So now to have a higher rarity, it's going to be pretty sick. Next is the artist Gilmore. He could be a good shot blocker and rebounder. Might be similar to Moses Malone if you have him in your squad. And then we got Ray Allen. You already know Ray Allen is one of the greatest shooters of all time. We got a Clyde Drexler, another gem in this game. One of the most fun small forwards to use incredible dunker we got alonzo morning so heat nation we got a center that you can use if you don't want to use shack zo is definitely a great card and then ben wallace one of the strongest cards in the game one of the best rebounders definitely a great card for head to head so to have an obsidian is always a good look you got dr j julius Irvin. yeah i know the doctor be cooking it up on the court 
And we got a new Luca and a David Robinson, the Admiral. Such a smooth jump shot for a center. Definitely underrated. Next here, we got Steve Nash. We got John Stockton, right? Two of the point guard legends in the NBA. And then we got Carl Malone, who's one of the top rated power forwards inside the game as well. And here's the tier that got me so excited when I saw it. Nothing but legendary greatness in this tier. We got a Dirk Nowitzki, Hakeem, the dream, Olajuwon is up in here. So I'm excited. You know I'm going for that card on my team. One of the most complete centers in the side of this game. And then we got Kobe Bryant, the Black Mamba, rest in peace, always. Right? He is one of the newest obsidians being added as well. I think this new tier is pretty stacked. And I'm excited to see what the power is going to be on the new theme cards. You know that's always higher than the foundation. It's going to be pretty sick. And with the obsidians dropping... One can hope that there will also be Obsidian tourneys coming, which will be a great way to grind for Obsidian players. And based off the past tourneys, it might be a good way to grind for Pearl Rings, right? When you want to get rings, you will go to the tourney above that and grind one of the challenges, right? From what I've noticed so far. So this will be a good chance for you to grind and craft some of those Pearl players that you weren't able to, or you might be able to craft some Pearl players in a theme. Big W regardless, right? So let me know in the comments, are you hype about these new Obsidian cards? Are you going for the sneak peek packs that are coming? You know I'm going to have a pack opening for that. So definitely subscribe if you haven't done so already. And turn on those notifications because it's going to get crazy on the channel. All right, so as always, I appreciate all the support everyone's been showing. We have been doing so well with these Worth the Hype videos as well. So I do appreciate everyone coming through and showing love to that series. As always, I will catch everyone on the next one. Peace out.